Fox News. Thank you so much, George. And we're going to begin this morning with the coronavirus affecting the entertainment industry in a big way. So many sporting events, concerts, movie openings being canceled for public safety. To update you this morning, all Broadway shows have now been shut down for at least the next four weeks. And this morning, Paramount has announced they are holding the release of A Quiet Place Part Two indefinitely, along with the live action Mulan and Fast and Furious 9. Billy Joel has just announced he's taking precautions. His concerts at Madison Square Garden, scheduled for March and April, have been moved to September and October. And huge acts like Billie Eilish, The Who, Cher, Blake Shelton, Dan and Shay have all canceled or postponed their gigs. Celine Dion, Pearl Jam, Madonna also postponing. Music festivals, Coachella, South by Southwest, Stagecoach, now postponed. Even the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has put their 2020 induction ceremony on hold all in the name of public safety. If you do have plans, we highly recommend you check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. have to send on. the message. Time so yeah, much. we gotta yeah. do what we gotta do. Yeah. Late Night TV also making some major changes. One day after deciding to tape their shows without studio audiences like we are, coronavirus fears have prompted three of the major late night shows to take it a step further and suspend production altogether, at least until March 30th. Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, and Seth Meyers will all take a precautionary break. Our own Jimmy Kimmel not going there yet. Kimmel will continue to tape without an audience, though last night, if you watched, you might have noticed someone new on stage, former presidential candidate Mayor Pete, and he came bearing gifts. I've been made to feel very welcome here today, and because I never show up to somebody's home empty-handed, I brought some gifts for the crew. Truth is, I have a shipping container full of Pete for President merch that I can't get rid of. <laughs> so... <laughs> Great sense of humor there. Mayor Pete enjoying his hosting duties as Jimmy is busy doing double duty, taping a special edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we will need TV to watch, so thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Kimmel will be back tonight at 11.30 right here on ABC. And finally, a little break for you from COVID-19. We want to share a very special little girl. She's a beautiful 12-week-old golden retriever. Her name is Ray, nicknamed Unicorn Dog by vets who are helping her because of her one ear that sits on top of her head. <laughs> There, it looks a little bit like a top knot, too. If you didn't notice her name, Ray, it, that's ear spelled backwards. Ray was born with some health challenges, but now she's happy and healthy. Mom Brianna is one of the vets who took care of her, ended up taking her home. This TikTok video of Ray doing her thing has already gotten 2.5 million views. Guys, unicorns do exist. Oh, she is a cutie. Yeah, I thought I'd bring a little smile to your face there. We needed that. Yeah, now let's get into some TV drama, shall we? <laughs> the Bachelor, and some breaking news overnight. After the dramatic finale on Tuesday, Pilot Pete and Madison, well, they're not gonna make it. They broke up. <laughs> Barb, we're thinking she's kinda happy. Take a look. <laughs> it was a dramatic declaration of love. Madison showing up in LA after Pete broke off his engagement with Hannah Ann. Like I know that I like still just have so much, so much love in my heart for you. So what do we do? At the finale, Chris asking the question on everyone's mind. Are you in love with Madison? Yeah. Madison then joining Pete on live TV Tuesday night, but one significant person not in their corner, Pete's mom, Barb. We want the best for him, and I have to tell you, completely two different people, that one will, was willing to compromise, the other one has not. And to me, to me, you need both to compromise. This is my journey too, and this isn't just Peter choosing me, this is me choosing Peter. He's gonna have to fail to succeed. I am telling you, that I love Madison, and that should be enough. And overnight, Pete sharing the two had broken things off just three days after the finale, writing, Maddie and I have mutually decided to not pursue our relationship any further. Believe me, this was not easy for either of us to be okay with, but after a lot of honest conversation, we have agreed that this is what makes most sense for the two of us. The love and respect I have for Maddie will continue to endure. And overnight, Madison writing, I will always love and respect him. I am convinced our paths were meant to cross and we are both better because because they did. And Pete saying overnight as well, this has been an emotional experience. I'm so grateful for the outreach of support that I've received from friends, family, and Bachelor Nation in the last few days. Well, hey, 
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.